Oh, the car destruction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Go! What's going on people, Guns Blazing back at it again, and today we have a deck that isn't very consistent, but when it does pop off, it can really ruin someone's day. It can also ruin a random Max C user's day, because we can actually force a deck out given the right conditions. Which can end up being very satisfying, because some people think they can just plop down the Max C, sit back and relax, and draw 20 cards on turn 1, and think they auto win on turn 2. Anyways, enjoy the clips, have yourselves a good one, and this is Guns Blazing, signing out. We can play this game. We can play this game. Oh, the card destruction. It's probably going to get Ash though. But if not, it's going to be my first card destruction win potentially. Oh my gosh, he used Ash already! He's an idiot! Twenty nine and in hand nine. He just has to draw ten more. <laughs> Ashes once per turn. <laughs> oh no. Please no droll. Please don't be a droll runner. Side frame down. Oh, we are running out of cards though. <laughs> nice, we got the brow discarded. I think this should be it. Uh, we just need a couple more. Do I still have something to send with this? I have snow. Oh, that's another one. Keki. It's over. Snow can already summon like Ted ties. <laughs> But he did, he did uh, take out a couple of cards from his hand because of the thing. Because of summoning this, so I'm just going to do this.
This should be enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And he has sixteen cards, okay. Go! So here's today's deck. Admittedly, I don't have too much experience with this, nor is this a really polished version yet. It's Danger Dark Worlds, which, if done right, it can make you end on a fat board and even draw your entire deck in one turn. It's very RNG dependent. Like, if you don't know what dangers do, basically, uh, your opponent discards one random card from your hand, and if it turns out to be anything but the danger, then you get to summon it, and you get a free card draw. So again, the goal is to keep spamming summons and draws until you get a really nice end board. And this is also why if you get max C, you could try for the deck out with all of these summons plus card destruction. But it is very hit or miss, like the variance with this deck is insane. The average game you'll probably have like Apollo USA and then Exterior, which you summon with Cyberstein. But if you get a nice high roll, you could end on even Rongo with full mats, Apollo USA on top of like IP Mask and an Abyss Dweller. And I haven't, <laughs> I haven't actually been able to do that in a ranked match yet. If you're wondering how... Uh, Rongo is summoned, it's just with the Carbonala from Cyberstein and your uh, Ar Armageddon Knight. But again, this build is not really too focused on Rongo, it's just there on the very small chance that you are able to high roll. And so here's another game to show what usually happens when you don't get max C. So let me try to walk you through an opening here. If you got to this point, you didn't brick, which congratulations, you got through the first problem of this deck. Now usually the first goal is to get out a couple of level 4 monsters and this will turn into your Dugaries. We didn't pick up a level 4 monster for a bit first, but we do get some nice hits on our dangers, they don't hit themselves. And I just end up normal summoning a level 4 here, the snow, so I can go in Dugaries and it can draw 2 cards and discard one. And then after another summon I can go ahead and make Saryuja Skull Dread. This will draw 4 cards and allow you to discard 3, as well as give you another special summon to use in the main phase. And so we can summon this Cyberstein in a second. Pot of Avarice was also available, so we go ahead and use that. Now we summon Cyberstein. Jackalope ends up chucking itself, but it's okay because it does still have its once per turn effect. Fairy Tail Snow is also in the grave, which we can spam for multiple summons. It looks like we're not going to be able to Rongo here, so I'm just going to use Cyberstein to bring out Exterio and add on an Apollo USA plus an IP Mask. So at this point you got multiple monster negates, almost infinite spell negates, and so you can just tilt your head back, put your hands on your head, and relax. If I get sphere moded here, I end the stream. I only have two cards in the grave. This is so sad. <laughs> oh, but it keeps adding cards to the grave. <laughs> go exterior, go! Lock him down! <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Wrath West. Buns glazing, what it do? What it do, baby? <laughs> oh my gosh, are we really doing this? Wait, Shadal Beast? Okay, Apollo USA, it's your turn. <laughs> this is so cringe. 
I'm actually cringe for this. <laughs> oh. Conductor Tyranno, damn. Oh, that is tough. Maybe I IP mask now and make access. It's kind of my only play. If I had more cards in the grave, could even win next turn with Fairy Tail Snow. But my draw phase is skipped this turn. <laughs> Eight scoops in 10 minutes just to play a one player game. <laughs> Exactly, dude. Oh, winnable. Winnable. 